Hey guys, and here we are again. The time is up for Samsung. The two year cycle of the design that was introduced with Galaxy S10 is complete. The holy punch hole, the one that everyone is copying right now. It's time for a change and this is the change. Front camera hidden under the screen. According to IS Universe, Samsung is considering using the under screen camera technology for the Galaxy S21. Currently, they are testing out its feasibility its reliability if it's at that level to be inside of a global flagship or not. This is indeed a hard thing to do, but it's certainly not impossible. Brands like Oppo, Vivo, and Xiaomi, they all have showed the underscreen camera prototypes in the past. In fact, Oppo's hidden camera phone was even in the hands of reviewers like they are that confident to show off their prototype, which means one thing, and that is this is coming soon. Oppo could release a smartphone with underscreen technology to Where's the end of the year? So Samsung, this needs to happen. If there is one company that can perfectly nail it, it's Samsung. I'm pretty sure Samsung is right on the level of Oppo with this. Of course, they don't show off prototypes just like that. We only see the official product. Right now, we can only hope that what they have built is reliable enough. So if it does happen, then it's going to be the peak of smartphone design, completely shattering the competition. Now, this is not the only exciting thing that's going to happen with the S21. Samsung's 5 nanometer Exynos processor is coming. Yes, Exynos will stick around and I know there's currently a lot of heat going on and before you hate, listen up. A huge report coming from South Korea claims that Samsung is developing an Exynos chip in collaboration with Google. Yes, if there is one company out there that I want Samsung to join hands with, it's definitely Google. According to the report, the next Exynos chip will be based on 5 nanometer process. It will use ARM's unannounced Cortex A78 cores, which is expected to be 20% faster than Cortex A77, which you currently see on chipsets like Snapdragon 865. Samsung will no longer use their own custom Mangoes BS. They're gonna use the proper ARM cores with a Mali P20 GPU that is also unannounced. On top of that, instead of using their own ISP and NPU, Samsung will utilize Google's Visual Core and Google's NPU. Now, both of these two things from Google is something you see on Pixel devices, and it has the best Android optimization, as well as with third-party applications like Instagram and Snapchat. Yes, this is one of the reasons why both Instagram and Snapchat actually work better on Pixel devices compared to any other Android phone out there. These apps actually utilize the camera of Pixel devices, which they don't really do on Samsung phones. This definitely is a great move indeed, and I'm sure there will be a lot more benefits to it. So 5 nanometer plus Meli P20 plus Google Visual Core, all of this is expected to come this year. Yes, by the end of the year, this actually will be ready. If you look at everything, it's definitely too huge to be used on the Galaxy Note 20 family, which is why most likely Samsung will utilize this on the Galaxy S21. Now you might be thinking, where is AMD? We've heard that the first AMD GPU based Exynos chip could come in 2021. What we don't know is the actual date. So this could still happen towards the second half of next year when the Galaxy Note 21 will be ready. We're still very far away so things can still change but for now, the Meli P20 GPU is expected to be inside the 5 nanometer Exynos 1000 chip. Likely that's going to be the name that Samsung will go for. Not only S21, but it is reportedly going to be featured on some Chromebooks, even servers. There's going to be a lot more use to it. Now, we have come to know through Google's own software leak that Pixel 5 and Pixel 5 XL won't use flagship chips. So this collaboration is likely for future Galaxy devices and additionally, Google could utilize this for their own products or even for their future flagship Pixel phone if they change their plans. So guys, the stage is set. The reliability of underscreen camera technology is in testing. Samsung is definitely working on everything that people want, a better Exynos chip and an underscreen camera technology. I'm super excited. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you think about this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.